Joining me now, former Army Ranger Tom Amenta, and also author of the book, The 20 Years War. Tom, I do have to ask as we get into this thing, um, who's this new minister in Afghanistan? Is he a good dude? How are things going over there? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, you're going to go right for the fire and see how much you can PO the, uh, the Italian. All right. So, Sarajuddin Harkani is now the interior minister of Afghanistan. Now, for your viewers who are like, who is this weird named dude? He was HBT, high value target number one for American Special Operations Forces post Osama bin Laden. The Haqqani Network is a noted and stated terrorism organization that was operating out of the tribal regions of Pakistan. This man, Jesse, has a $10 million bounty on his head for U.S. forces. And he is now arguably number three in the government for the Taliban as of this morning, local Afghan time. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get to the whys of that in just a moment. But first of all, I want you to expand on this guy a little bit. A $10 million price on his head, and the next yep. man in the pecking order after bin Laden says, this is a really bad dude. Why do we want this dude so bad? So he ran the network out of the tribal regions of Pakistan that was running all of the all of the terrorism, most of the drugs, right? Like, uh, you shouldn't really call him the interior ministry. You might as well just call him the head of opium. Like, they're, they're not even trying to be cute about this if they're going to have that guy because they controlled all the illegal drugs moving back and forth over the tribal region. They controlled all of the influence, all of the bribery, all of the everything. The Harkani Network was the one group of people that you heard was in the AO after Osama bin Laden was there and we were trying to do the nation building, we were like, uh-oh, those guys could fight. Those guys were organized. They were disciplined. They were coming from a place that they had basically carved their own state out in you know the wild, wild west of Pakistan. And now this is the guy that is going to run the interior ministry of Afghanistan. Okay, Tom, you're the one who knows these people, and clearly nobody in our government does right now. The Taliban and us. Not, not how we want it to be, but how it is right now. We are very mm -hmm. clearly diplomatically working with these people. Yep. Why? Why are we so all in for them? Is this just so they don't kill the last few civilians there and make Biden look bad? What, what, what is this about? Dude, when you get an answer to that, tell me, because at this point, I'm not sure. I would suspect yeah. that part of it has to do with the American citizens that they're trying to get out. But at the same time, so there's government contractors right now on site in Mazari Sharif that have planes with American citizens ready to take off and they're not allowed to, there's too much red tape from the State Department because they want to suddenly, now they're super concerned about exactly how they can check people leaving Mazar. Now, another thing you'd mentioned, make sure that your viewers and your listeners fully understand, if you were going to get into a car in Kabul and you were going to drive up the A-76 into Mazari Sharif, it's an eight-hour drive, okay? It's not close. And yet these contractors with American citizens and people with green cards and fully appraised visas got them from Kabul all the way to Mazar in an operation that I can't wait to hear the movie about because that's incredible. That is an unbelievable um, response to a trying time. They finally get them there. The Taliban is absolutely also trying to extort these flights for money, for bribe money to get them out. And now the State Department is saying that once we check your paperwork and once we recheck your paperwork and once we make sure that we have all of these people, then yeah, maybe we might let your people fly. There's American citizens with American passports on these birds, Jesse. Like they're holding up the passport being like, hi, American here, we'll check the paperwork. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.